Next, we need to create a weapon and an armor class so that we can start to have weapons and armors inside of our application. We're going to go ahead and go to our models area and we're going to go to file, new, file, and we're first going to create our weapon class. So we're going to go to Coco Touch, Objective C class, I can press next, and for the class I'm going to type in CC weapon, and we'll make this a subclass of NS object, and I go ahead and press next. And I'm going to make sure I have target selected, Pirate Adventure, and I can press Create. And now we have a weapon class. So I'm going to go to my header file. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the properties. And we can do at property, strong, non-atomic. And because I added strong, it should be a hint to you that this is going to be an object. So we're going to do NSString. And our weapon needs a name. So we're going to have the ability now to give our weapon objects a, a name by using the dot notation to access the property. We're also going to go ahead and do at property. And we're only going to use non-atomic, so this will be a primitive. And we're going to do int, and we'll give the ability for our weapon to have a damage number associated with it. We also are going to create an armor class. So let's go ahead and go to file, new, file and iOS Objective-C class again and this time we'll call it CC Armor so we're going to be able to create CC Armor subclass or objects or instances so this is going to be a subclass of NS object and I go ahead and press next and press create and for my armor again my armor needs the ability to have a name so we can do at property strong non-atomic and we can do NS string name and we'll do at property non-atomic and we'll make an int this time instead of having a damage we're going to give a health benefit so when we add this to our character's health which we'll set up in our next video our character will now be able to use the armor to boost their health so we're going to do at property non-atomic int health 